What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7, Halloween, and Terrifier 3. Now I want to start off here with Halloween because we got a big report this morning from IGN confirming that Halloween is getting its own Unreal Engine 5 game with John Carpenter intimately involved. It says here, now there actually are more, it's more than one. Uh, according to the article, two new games based on the 1978 horror classic Halloween are in development at Boss Team Games, IGN can exclusively reveal. I believe this is the same team who did the Evil Dead game, I could be mistaken. It says, while details are limited, both games are apparently being developed in conjunction with the producers of the Halloween franchise. What's more, one of the games is being developed in Unreal Engine 5 and will include input from original director John Carpenter. John Carpenter gave this comment saying as a huge gamer myself I'm thrilled to help bring Michael Myers to life again in this game and my hope is to scare you silly says Carpenter will be intimately involved with the development of the new project says according to the official release the games will allow players to relive moments from the film and play as classic characters from one of the most iconic and important horror films of all time the two new games are being developed in association with Compass International Pictures and further front with the Unreal Engine 5 project still in early development goes on to talk about how Halloween is now more than 45 years old. There have been a few video games based on... It says Boss Team Games for its part returns to horror, ga horror genre after previously I was correct working on the Evil Dead the game. They said everyone at Boss Team Games are a huge fan of horror and Halloween obviously holds a special place in the hearts of all horror fans said Boss Team Games CEO. Getting to work with iconic characters like Michael Myers and build on John Carpenter's original vision is literally a dream come true. Everyone at Boss Team is thrilled and honored to be working with Malika Codd and John Carpenter to deliver a one of a kind experience that fans of the movie and video games will love. So when it comes to this news, I can say I'm excited. I would rather, of course, look more forward to a movie and whatever's going on with that TV show. I'm looking more forward to that than the game with Michael Myers. But yes, I guess this is an exciting piece of information for anyone out there who is a major gamer and has always wanted to see Michael Myers in video game format. Now's the time. It's creeping up slowly but surely. So we'll see what comes of this news. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is going to be Scream 7. So Viewer Anon and Daniel RPK over this past weekend put to bed hopefully a rumor that had been running around suggesting that melissa barrera and spyglass had inked an agreement for her to return and all proceeds of whatever her salary was or something like that will be going towards the causes that she supports now here's the thing i myself tried to stay as quiet as i could on it because i'll be honest the first time i heard of such a thing even happening was back in december of last year so that is i think that's the first time i'm sharing that with you guys the first time i heard of such an occurrence was in december of last year i never made any post about it i didn't upload the video i made about it because there was not enough stuff coming out about it just yet to just start dropping videos and making tweets certain things i like to just let sit and simmer and see what falls into place i did find it interesting that this rumor was gaining momentum again once filming was nearing a start time because we know it's supposed to start shooting in december and now we're hearing that melissa is back and all of that good stuff but viewer non stated that they tried to talk to as many reputable people they can talk to that they're in communication with and they don't they don't believe this is true or that it's not true that melissa barrera is not going to return daniel rpk himself quoted one of the one of the users sharing the rumor saying that she would be back and it's being put to bed that Melissa Barrera is not going to return in Scream 7. Now, I will say this. If by some shocking revelation she actually is back, okay, whatever. Here's the thing. You've done so much dicking around with it at this point. It's not really going to make much of a difference to me that you brought her back all this time later. You've The damage is done. <laughs> to a certain degree, the damage is done. You've already put such a negative light on her for months through the media and the way you spend it because she was again dismissed for the wrong reasons reasons that don't back up with what she was posting from what i read and saw and what they were claiming about her i didn't see it so you were painting her in a certain light and it is, and then for her to return to the franchise while that's fine if she's finding some sort of peace by returning to it that's all on her personal interest everything that's transpired since the dismissal though would indicate that she's not gonna just jump back in so I didn't really believe it all that much when I first heard it. And I'm glad I didn't make any posts or videos about it <laughs> because now it's been completely shut down by viewer non and Daniel RPK. I do see that a lot of people wanted it to be true 
because a lot of people, of course, want to see the core four story continue alongside with Sidney Prescott. They want to see some iteration of that original vision for Scream 7 play out on screen with Sam Carter, Carpenter involved. Melissa Barrera returning to Spyglass just didn't seem right. And a lot of you who have met her also communicated to me that when you talk to her about Scream, she just seems very turned off by it. Seems like something she's not really to just jump back into if Spyglass is the one holding the rights to it. I think she herself allegedly has made comments about it, saying that she'll be back if Spyglass is no longer the rights holders. And if I guess another rights holder decides to say, hey, you know, let's revive Sam Carpenter. My thing is this, wouldn't that be kind of impossible? Doesn't Spyglass own Sam? So that could be a sticky scenario. But that's been put to bed. Melissa Barrera is still not back. It is what it is. Let's move on. Now we're going to talk about Terrifier 3. So Damien Leone put out this tweet saying that he can't confirm the official runtime for Terrifier 3 just yet, but I can confirm it is shorter than part two. Who's happy it's shorter and who wishes it was five hours long? Now, didn't we learn back in November or sometime last year that Terrifier 3 would be shorter than Terrifier 2 anyway? So now we have a confirmation to less than two months at this point before it releases that it is indeed for a fact going to be shorter than Terrifier 2. How I feel about it is this. I did not mind the runtime of Terrifier 2 in the long run, but yes, there are parts of Terrifier 2 that did drag. I am not going to be completely against a horror movie that is two hours long, but maybe a slasher film isn't the film to necessarily make over two hours. And that's where Terrifier 2 kind of started to drag for people because it was a slasher film and there wasn't much going on that justified it being that long. <laughs> Some things did feel like they were dragging on for the sake of just dragging on. Now, when it comes to Terrifier 3 and it being shorter, I can look forward and trust that this film will have better pacing. That's the first thing that will pop out to me. I trust that this film will have better pacing, hopefully. And hopefully whatever it is that is on our screen isn't stuff that's just squandering the runtime. Hopefully there's not a lot of subplots. And hopefully the runtime in my head that I'm imagining is a movie that is one hour and 50 five minutes i would say that should be suffice for a slasher film hopefully whatever it is can let the drama between sienna and her new or not her new but her aunt and uncle situation let that let that breathe let all the stuff with the revelations of art breathe and all that good stuff but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and name this video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video